welcome back. Now in this chapter, just want to go through how you can create multiple resources in kind of a loop when it comes on to Terraform. So for example, we have seen earlier on when we want to deploy, let's say two virtual machines. So we had to create one network interface resource for one machine, then another network interface resource for another machine. Then the Azure Windows Virtual Machine, RPM, we had to create one resource of this, similarly create another resource. Now, is there a way that we can kind of generalize this so that we just have one resource deployment for virtual machines, but then it goes in kind of a loop and instead of actually declaring multiple blocks, we just have one block for the deployment of an Azure RM Windows Virtual Machine. And it, I said it goes in a loop and for each loop, it will create a different Azure VM. Well, this is possible. So firstly, let me change my configuration files and then I'll come back to show you how we can achieve this. So now I've come back. Now, again, I have a split version of my Terraform configuration files. In my main file, I just have the definition of the provider in terms of the client ID, the secret, etc., the locals and the definition of the resource group. That's it. The virtual network, it has its own definition. It's actually picking up the definition over here from the variables when it comes onto the network details. And I have my versions. This Terraform configuration files is just going to go ahead and deploy the resource group and Azure Virtual Machines. I'm keeping it simple. It's going to deploy two Azure Virtual Machines and the deployment of the Virtual Machines is in a separate TF file, Terraform configuration file, known as Virtual Machines. Now, let me just hide this and let's go through what I've done here. So I said this script or this Terraform configuration file is going to deploy the network interface twice I only have one block for this and it's also going to deploy the Azure RM virtual machine resource also twice and I only have one block for this. One way of achieving this is to use a special counter that is available in Terraform. Here if we mention the count is equal to two, it will actually run this resource block two times. So this is how we can create multiple instances of a particular resource without the need of defining the resource block over and over again. But obviously in these circumstances, right, we have to then be more dynamic in nature in some aspects. For example, the name is very important for the network interface. If we are defining two network interfaces, we need to have the name to be unique during each count. So when count, the first count, right, it will execute this block once and then for count two, it will execute this block again. The name needs to be unique during each invocation for this resource. Well, we have many inbuilt functions available in Terraform and we can make use of it. Here I'm using the format function that allows us to format a particular string. In the format function, I'm saying that please have first of all the keyword of app interface in place. Here I can say that with the help of percentage %s, this is like a placeholder. This placeholder will be replaced by this value. Now, when we have this count in the resource block, we can have the value of the count also given to us each time this resource block is executed. We can do this with the help of the index property. So for example, the first time this is run, it will have a count of zero because it starts from zero. I'm just adding plus one 
so that the first time this resource block actually runs, we will get a value of the name has network interface one. And the next time this is run, we'll get a value of network interface two. So I'm using the format function to format the value of the string when it comes on to the name. Now, next, when it comes on to the details for the name of the Azure VM, again, I'm using the format function, but here I am now getting the name of the VM from my variables. And what is the variables that I've defined? So if I go onto my variables, I just have a simple variable VM name of app VM. That's it. So I am taking the variable name. This is going to replace the first placeholder. And then again, the count index plus one is going to replace the second placeholder. So this is how I'm getting the name of or setting the name of the Azure virtual machine. And here when I'm specifying the network interface ID, Again, here I'm mentioning the app interface, right? And what is the count? Because now we have multiple resources when it comes onto the network interface. Note here, I'm not putting plus one. The plus one is just because I want the naming convention of my resources not to start from zero, but from one. But here we are making a direct reference onto the network interface. Now, in a similar way, let me also define a new file. This is for, I'll select Terraform. I'm going to save this as outputs. So if I want to get separate outputs, I can have that defined here. I'm going to paste in some code. So in the output, I want to get what is a private IP address that's going to be assigned onto each virtual machine. Now, instead of just getting one value, because we have two virtual machines that are going to be deployed here, I want the private IP addresses of each virtual machine. Now, the private IP address, remember, is assigned onto the network interface that is assigned onto each VM. So just like in any programming language, even in Terraform, we can actually use the for loop to actually iterate through resources. Here I'm actually iterating through each network interface that gets created as part of this Terraform configuration. And then I'm getting also or displaying the private IP address of that's assigned basically onto each network interface. So we're trying to make our Terraform configuration files more dynamic in nature. I'll save everything. Let me go on to the terminal. So currently on the Azure platform, if I just hit on refresh, so I just have this network watcher resource in place, but apart from that, I don't have anything else. Let me go ahead and just create a plan. So it's going to take all of the files into consideration. You can see changes to the output and let me hit on apply. Let's come back once this is complete. Once the deployment is complete here in the outputs, you can see in private IP addresses, we have the name of the interfaces and what are the private IP addresses assigned. At the same time, if I go on to the Azure platform and if I hit on refresh, yeah, I can see app interface one, app interface two, app VM one, app VM two. So in this chapter, just want to show you a way in which you can actually create multiple resources in an iterative fashion using the count feature available in Terraform.